Well, Mexico City has an earthquake warning system, which apparently worked. So how far along are we with getting our own? KPI X 5s Len Ramirez says a full rollout is still years away, Len. That's right, Ken. Researchers here at UC Berkeley and other institutions have been working on an early earthquake warning system for several years now, but it's not yet ready to go out to the public. Although other countries have been doing the same, including Mexico, which had good results in this past earthquake. You're about to see Mexico City's early earthquake warning system in action. The sirens sound, giving people a precious few seconds to stream out of their buildings and into the safety of the giant open square, El Zocalo. The system was designed after the devastating 1985 Mexican quake, and a similar system is up and running in Japan. But today, California's early warning system, called Shake Alert, is still in a very limited testing phase. What would it take for Shake Alert to go to the masses? We've got very good capital investment so far, but the long term operation and maintenance sort of funds have not fully been identified yet. So far, only emergency responders and transportation providers like BART are on the system. The system has already been tested in a real life situation, the 2014 Napa quake, where it gave the BART control center a nine second warning. Researchers at the UC Berkeley Seismology Lab say it could be five years or more before the system can be rolled out to people's smartphones because the technology isn't there yet. Best case scenario is basically that the Earthquake alert is sort of baked on your phone, and your phone would just receive a message to activate that alert on your phone. It's push, push notifications, amber alerts, all of those current technologies we have are a little too slow. Now, there is a planned regional rollout of the Shake Alert system that will begin next year. But, Ken, one of the limitations of the system going forward right now is that there aren't enough uh, sirens in this area uh, to make it uh, widespread or widely available to all people. So there will be a regional rollout when it comes to your cell phone, maybe another five years or so. Yeah, Len, I'm, I'm wondering, you mentioned nine seconds there. Uh, I don't know what they got in Mexico. What, what are they looking at as a possibility for an actual war? Morning. How many seconds would you have? Well, that depends on where you are to the epicenter, and that uh, is, you know, what makes it effective and not effective. If you're farther away from the epicenter, you have more of a chance to get uh, out uh, or get under a, uh, you know, some sort of a table or something like that. If you're farther away, uh, you do have those seconds. If you're right in the epicenter, for instance, if the Hayward Fault were to go right here at UC Berkeley, we would have uh, no warning. There's no system available that is that fast. So the farther you are out from the epicenter, Center, the greater the chance of a warning you will get. Len Ramirez in Berkeley today. Thank you, Len.